welcome to Physics is My Orish. So in this video, you will learn about force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. You will learn about catapult field, Fleming left hand rule, type of catapult field, factors that influence the magnitude of force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field, and the effect of current carrying coil in a magnetic field. But before that, let's meet our group members. Hi, I'm Amna. Hi, I'm Amni. Hi, I'm Husna. Hi, I'm Aini. Hi, I'm Nuri. Hi, I am Siti Aisha. Okay, now let's get into this topic. Okay, before we continue this chapter, firstly, we need to know what is the meaning of electromagnet. So, electromagnet means temporary magnet when current flows through a conductor. We need to use right hand grip rule to determine the direction of magnetic field around a straight wire conductor. Firstly, we need to grasp our right hand to determine either the direction of magnetic field is clockwise or anticlockwise. For the thumb up, the current is upward. So, the direction of magnetic field will be anticlockwise. For thumb down, the current is downward, so the direction of magnetic field will be clockwise. Next, we can continue to this chapter, but firstly, you need to know. A magnet is a permanent magnet which has its own magnetic field, while a current carrying conductor is not a permanent magnet, but it will have a magnetic field too. So, when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, the conductor will experience a force. The direction of the force depends on the direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic field. The first figure is the magnetic field for magnet and the second figure is the magnetic field for current carrying conductor. Pattern on resultant magnetic field are also known as catapult field. Figure shows a current carrying conductor that is placed in a magnetic field produced by a pair of magnetic magnet. The force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field is produced by the interaction between two magnetic fields. The magnetic field from the electric current in the conductor and the magnetic field from the permanent magnet. The two magnetic fields combine to produce a resultant magnetic field that is known as a catapult field. The pattern of the catapult field will show the direction of the force acting on the conductor. Figure shows the catapult field form when a current carrying conductor is in a magnetic field. So we know that the meaning of catapult field is a resultant magnetic field produced by the interaction between the magnetic field from a current carrying conductor and the magnetic field from a permanent magnet. The first symbol is for direction of current out of the plane of the paper, while the second symbol is for direction of current into the plane of the paper. The direction of the force on a current carrying conductor can be determined by using Fleming's left hand rule. The first finger shows the direction of the magnetic field that is from north to south. The middle finger shows the direction of the electric current either from positive to negative or next one is up or into the page and the last step is the thumb. The thumb will show the direction of the force acting on the conductor. The direction of motion of the conductor follows the direction of the force. Since we had understood the meaning of catapult field, now we will learn how to draw the pattern of catapult field as well as identifying the direction of the force. The types of catapult field depend on the material used. The first type involves permanent magnet and a current carry conductor, while the second type involves combination of two current carry conductors. To be able to draw the pattern of the catapult field, first we need to identify the direction of the force. We have learned that we can determine the direction of the force by using the Fermi's left hand rule. All we need to do is point the index finger towards the direction of the magnetic field, our middle finger towards the current, and our tongue will show us the direction of the force. 
Secondly, we need to identify the direction of the two fields produced, which is the direction of the current and magnetic field. A stronger field will be produced if the direction of the two fields is the same, while a weaker field will be produced if the direction of the two fields is the opposite. So by identifying which is a stronger field and which is a weaker field, we will be able to identify the direction of the force, as the direction of the force is from a stronger field to the weaker field. So by referring to diagram below, we know that the direction of the magnetic field produced by permanent magnet is from north to south. And the direction of the magnetic field produced by the wire can be determined by using the right hand grip rule. When we are applying the right hand grip rule, we know that the direction of the motion is downward because the symbol used in the diagram indicates into the page motion. As I stated before, if the field moving towards the same direction, it will produce a stronger field, and if it clash each other, it will produce a weaker field. So now, let us refer to diagram on our right. As we can see, the direction or the pattern of the magnetic field is curving upward. It is because, as we all know, the direction of the force is from a stronger field to a weaker field. And based on the diagram, the catapult field is curving upward, which is leaning towards the stronger field. So next, I will explain to you two possible scenarios we can obtain from type 1. So first is current crying straight conductor in a magnetic field. As the name suggests, a straight wire only allows currents to move in one direction and in this case, it's moving in downward motion. To keep it simple, we know that the magnetic field of a permanent magnet moves from north to south. The cross symbol symbolizes into the page motion, so when we are using right hand grip rule and facing our thumb downwards, you'll find out that the direction of the magnetic field is clockwise. Therefore, the pattern of the catapult field will be drawn as shown in the figure on the left. Next, let's talk about the factors that influence the magnitude of the force on the current carrying conductor in the magnetic field. In this part, there are three important keywords that we need to focus on, which are current, magnetic field, and resistance. Let me explain more about the keywords that we learned before. For the first factor is current, with the capital I as the symbol. When the magnitude of the current is increased, the force acting on the conductor increases. Other word for magnitude is value, so we can also say that when the value of the current is increased, the force acting on the conductor also increases. For the second one is magnetic field with the capital B as the symbol. When the strength of the magnetic field is increased, the force acting on the conductor also increases. And the last one is resistance with the capital R as the symbol. When the resistance of the conductor is increased, the force acting on the conductor decreases. In addition, the thick wire or short wire can be used to reduce the resistance, while the thin wire or long wire can be used to produce high resistance. This shows that resistance depends on the thickness or length of the wire to change the value of the force, whether it is increased or decreased. Next, the effect of current carrying coil in a magnetic field. This is the simple diagram of current carrying coil in magnetic field. There are permanent magnet, the current carrying coil, and flow of current. When the current flow in the current carrying coil, magnetic field produced, then it will result in catapult field. Second, one magnetic field produced by the permanent magnet and the other magnetic field is produced by current carrying coil when the current flow. From the catapult field, turning effect produced and it is used in electric motor which convert electrical energy to mechanical energy. One of the electric motor is the direct current electric motor. DC motor have commutator to change the direction of current when the sides of coil are interchanged the position. 2. Cause the coil to rotate in one direction. 
So let me explain to you how it works. Before that, DC motor has commutator which is touching with the two carbon brush. First of all, as we know, current flow from positive terminal of dry cell to the negative terminal of dry cell. So the current flow as shown in the diagram. At the right side, by using Fleming's left hand rule, we know that force produced is downward and and at the left side, force produced upward. Left side rotate downward, the right side rotate upward. This is the first half rotation. As it goes back to this position, the current flow is still the same but flowing in different coil. As you can see, the current flow in blue commutator is initially toward the dry cell. But now, the current flow is opposite. When the current flow, the way it flow as in the diagram, by using Fleming's left hand rule, we know that force produced is downward. Same goes to the yellow commutator. It force produced is upward. Fourth, the coil rotate in one circle according to the force produced and direction of current. So this is the second half rotation and it completes a one cycle of rotation. The second electric motor is the alternating current electric motor. AC motor has two slip rings to change contact between brush and the end of coil simultaneously with change of direction of AC current. This is because to rotate coil in one direction only. See, there are two slip rings instead of a commutator and carbon brush touching the slip rings and also the AC power supply. According to the diagram, force produced is downward at the left side while at the right side, force produced upward. This is because of the current flow from positive terminal to negative terminal. Let us focus on the right side as it rotates halfway in order to maintain a one direction rotation the force produced must be upward but as you can see if the current stay in the same direction the coil will produce force downward here the alternating current change pole of terminal halfway so that when the coil rotate halfway more which come back to initial state the produced force at the right side will be upward as it should be, not the downward force. So here, force produced downward so it rotates downward at the left side and force produced upward so it rotates upward at the right side as it should be. And that's on how it can rotate in one direction only. So call continue to rotate in one cycle and in one direction, as the Gode Thomas says. Alright, now let's answer some SPN questions. Number one, what is meant by catapult field? Number two, diagram above shows a portable device. Using a physics concept, explain how a device can function as a screwdriver or a drill. You have 10 seconds to answer. Now you can check your answer. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. We hope that you understand all of this topic. Don't forget to check out our poster to revise this topic in a simple way. Thank you. We pray for our success in SPM and we will get 9S together. Bye.